Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you and take Hello, good care. Ralph, Bye -bye I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and author, and the host of this show. The Dead Kid Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Usually I'm outside, but it is raining today. Not the goods of this world, but God. Not riches, but God. Not honors, but God. Not distinction, but God. Not dignities, but God. Not advancement, but God. God always and in everything. So when you pray, God listens. When you ask, God gives. But we should only pray for the things we truly need. However, some people forget to thank God for what they have received from him. Always remember God gives, but he can also take away. Never forget that, my friends. Let God work through you and there will be no more duty. Let God shine forth. Let God show himself. Live God. Eat God, drink God, breathe God. Realize the truth and other things will take care of themselves. When you need, God knows. When you ask, God listens. When you believe, God works. When you thank, God gives more. Try to give your agenda today to God. Keep saying to yourself, your will will be done, not mine. Give every part of your heart and your time to God and let God tell you what to do, where to go, when and how to respond. God does not want you to destroy yourself. Exhaustion, burnout, and depression are not signs that you are doing God's will. Our God is gentle and loving. God desires to give you a deep sense of safety in God's love. Once you have allowed yourself to experience that love fully, you will better able to discern who you are uh, being sent to in God's name.
So my friends, in closing this early morning here inside on a rainy day, in God's eyes, love is never absent. In God's heart, forgiveness is never impossible. In God's mind, you are never forgotten. God is always with you. And may he continue to be with you throughout the day, the week, the month, the year, and the rest of your life. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can change that stranger's day in their life and can make a difference in your life. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. How many of us parents and grandparents will give up our children and grandchildren for the sake of humanity? God did it for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, this rainy damn day, and may God bless you. Take good care. Bye-bye now.